So April 2024, um, I am a support worker. So I I was working with a a person who who um, said, hey, let's go on holiday and I'd like to go to Tasmania. And I was like, cool. Let's let's get that let's get that done. So uh, I took myself and my client and my wife came along. So it was uh, five nights and six days. We uh, we flew on down to Hobart. And the first day we went to the, we had a look around at, at, in Hobart and, and had lunch at the Moors Fishmongers, which was, uh, oh, that was, a, that was a good little spot. And then we, uh, next day we went to Port Arthur. We had dinner at the Hope and Anchor. You won't see all these things on the video, but these are some really cool places we went to. Thursday we went on the Bruni Island tour. Now that was fantastic. Amazing tour, bus tour. We had went to the chocolate factory. There was wine. There was honey. Uh, the mussels, if you're into that sort of thing. Went up to the lighthouse. Had a look around. Absolutely brilliant day. Then on the Friday, we uh, went up to on to the Huon River. We went on a cruise, which was pretty cool. And there was the oh, if you ever go to Hobart, you got to go do the horse and carriage through town. That was really cool. And. Uh, Saturday we then drove up to Launceston, changed motels, and uh, went to the zoo there. And then on Sunday before we flew back home, we went to Seahorse World and Point Beauty, and just had a great time. Fantastic trip. Loved Tasmania. Can't wait to go back again. Five days was definitely not enough. University and he did a thesis on that bridge and he pointed out to me that and I'll tell you a little bit more about the bridge when we get back on the bus. Uh, uh, you got to get some, no. Uh, no. Have I got it? Oh wow, there's a bridge over there. That's really cool. Old stone bridge. Uh, Up, have a well, they went further up. Water coming back down through the sand. Well, I'm glad I wore a <sighs> Signs telling me about the penguins and the here rabbits. He's over here to the left now. <laughs> yep, he's coming down. Oh, he's oh on, coming oh, down. Oh, there he is. Absolutely incredible. Absolutely oh, incredible. He's got something in his face. <laughs> Go. See the, the set. Oh, this has uh, oh, yeah. and construction commenced in 1836 after a number of tragic shipwrecks in the entrance of the channel. Ships coming from England, they got all that way only to come to grief within sight of their destination.
has a suspension bridge. You are here. And this is Peer pressure at its greatest. Look dude, I went over. You do it too. Look at another cool old stone. If you so I've really enjoyed about Tasmania. Here's the wall, thank you. Oh, just some tables. Uh, you can see pretty much all the river down probably. The watching quarters and bakehouse. Okay, sure. In front of you. A military garrison within. At the desk? Convicts were put in the land. Without losing all the tickets. This alone. So, Thomas Shoe. There's a card written on there. Yeah, down the bottom. We were what? The three of clubs. Yeah. And that's it, and the roof was probably about two metres tall. Oh, well, here we go. Walk under. This is Michael Burns. Michael Burns. Brendan, mate. Yeah, he's ahead of us. He's ahead of us. He's, he was like, man, I'm getting on that island. No unauthorised access on the island. Sorry? It said no one unauthorised access. Rightio, welcome everybody. My name's Rob. We've got about 40 minutes for the boat to do a loop, come back and pick us up. That's the plan. And that is a heap of time to walk around the island because that's it. Horrible place to be buried on the island that is there. Before they buried George, it would have been uh, here, and before here, it would have been there. Make sense? The most desirable location on the island has a shallow grave sitting down there to help you find it. You've got a couple of bits of timber lying over it. They used to be bolted white into a tripod, uh, sorry, bolted upright tripod, painted white, and that's because boats never used to stop. The 1950s, you'd chug around slowly, and the guy would point up and jabber on about whatever. <laughs> um, well, we'll start our safety brief and mm -hmm. see where we... No, it's nothing. Yeah. Maybe, sort of possible. If it wasn't, I mean, I... If it wasn't, it is now. They <laughs> would have had to have had our wet suits on, for sure.
So I'm on top of one of the hills here at um, Launceston. I can't remember the name of the hill. We went down the gorge before. And uh, now we are here. That's really impressive. Nice little sunset in the background. Cool old building. I like how they've got the gravel everywhere. Gives a good grip. Oh my god. It's this little monkey, he is. And they are known for their intelligence and can learn to mimic sounds, including words and phrases. Um, this is an Indian ringneck parrot. Females lack facial and collar bands. That means the females aren't as coloured. And the males, them. yeah, they're very cool. They're from India, Pakistan, mm. Asia. Oh, I thought that was strong. Yep. Eastern Rosella. I love them. them. I want one of them. Yeah, I don't know if you can have them. You've got to have a permit. You have to have. Oh, so they're from Southeast Australia and Tasmania. So they're in one of these. A Sun Conya, uh, uh, South America, uh, dry forest. They live for 30 years. Yeah. Oh, they talk, that's hilarious. They're very cool. They're, they're green. They're... There you go. There you go. He's a lot, he's definitely an Aussie <laughs> now. I want a cracker. Cracker? Huh? Oh, I want a cracker. You say, who's beautiful? <laughs> no. Can you whistle? <laughs> Major Mitchell soccer too. Pink and white. They live for 75 years. Mm -hmm. They're all over Australia. Yeah. Big. These ones are big. These ones are going to be oh, look, amazing. Hey, cheap. <laughs> Want some food? A bit lower, don't? Yep. There you go. That's Mr. Sheep. <laughs> oh, here comes the donkey. Hey, donkey. Mr. Donkey, how are you? You found him? Oh, he found you. Here comes another sheep. Mr. Big Woolly. Woolly sheep who looks like he needs to have a shave. Uh, a black one? No idea. I can't get near them. So, that's right, we'll just get past them. It to me, very it? cute. It would be perfect. Hello, you. Yeah. Yes, it is, isn't it? We want food everywhere. Oh. Yeah. 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 They look pretty well fed. Yeah. Oh, I'm going to get down. There's one coming over this way. He might come over. Here he comes over. He's coming over. I've got the camera out. Here he comes, Donna. Donna, if you just put your hand out just about here. There you go. <laughs> Oh, he's so soft and fluffy. <laughs> Hello. He's like looking at me. Hang on a second. You can't pat me. You don't have food. Just keep your head. So he's in front of a stone. I'm sitting on top of a log. And his job is he's on lookout. So all the other little ones are around on the bottom. Right. And so when they're in the wild, he's up on top of a tree or a mound. And he's on the, he's on the lookout for lions or whatever. So yeah, if he okay, sees... So these are the lemurs, are they? These are the, the, the meerkats, yeah. Yeah, Mara. Do you want to come over? Is it okay if I put one on your shoulder? You don't have to... 
Look, like it looks like a, looks like a koala it's sleeping up there. Oh, clean as you not fall out of the tree, look. This red fuzzy thing having a snooze. Oh, Come over here. Glass tiger was. Oh, right. This is his house. They reckon they still see him around. He eh? passed away on the 7th of September 30, 1936. Yeah. The, the the bay here is absolutely gorgeous. So as far as you can see in front of us is water. Got some banded archer fish. Yeah, they're called archer fish because they shoot water from their mouth and they shoot up out of the water in bugs. And they, they hit the bug with the water, the bug falls in the water and then they eat it. Barber's seahorse, a little yellow strand seahorse. Oh, right, which is you red. Are, feel free to look around for a few minutes before we get started. There is something different in all of the tanks, and if you have any questions at all, feel free to ask me. Mm -hmm. Speeding time. Oh, it's time. Don't have the door for my camera so I can record underwater. Oh, there's. Oh. Hundreds in here, hundreds. We've got one, two, three packages, another. Now, I'm not seeing horses for the Chinese medicine market. The market was taking millions of seahorses out of the wild every year, and we wanted to provide a way for them to have the seahorses without hurting the wild populations. What do you think, Donna? Shovel no shark in here. Or, no, it's a stingray, sorry. There's two. There's two. Trying to find him. Where are you going? Come back here. There he is. Yeah, they're really cool. They're completely now, white. Last opportunity. Did anyone want to hold something? You have that is probably as long as your arm, Donna. Mm -hmm. Huge. Yeah, so the the Eastern one. Rock Lobster. Oh, and another black headed puffer. I don't like puffer fish, I catch them at home. 